Uh, in this lab, we are making a virtual CPI graphite. Okay, so we have two different metals connected with each other, making two junctions. When we one junction we can keep inside this cold water, and for this this one we can have a heat bed. So the temperature difference is created in this wire, and with this we can measure the uh, generated voltage inside this. So let's start this practical. How the thermocouple effect? How the thermocouple works? How the CPI effect? actually works. So, uh, with this, hold this, okay. So, one junction we are making it in the icy water, so it is a cold junction, okay. And the, for heater, we are connected, for a hot junction, we are connecting the heater. So, let's start the heater switch, okay. For a smaller instant, we'll start heater and we'll measure the generated voltage across this wire. Now, let's see how voltage is increasing when the temperature rises at the hot junction. So, which verifies the thermoelectric law number 1 and 2 also. Okay. So, the reverse direction voltage we can hit, we are getting 0.3. So, if we replace this, two leads, just replace this, red to here and black to here. Okay. Now, now let's see, it will be in a positive side. Okay. So, you can see this voltage is rising because the current electron flow is generated and that will create the potential difference inside. So, this is the verification of a C wave effect. Now, you can see the voltage rising as the temperature rising. You can see the voltage uh, increasing in with respect to this hotness of this body. The emissivity of the heater will also increase. You can see the heater is getting red hot. You can see this emissivity. And the temperature, and the temperature rises. Now you can see the heater is became red, and the similar way that the voltage generated is increased drastically. So 1.1 or so, so 1.3. So it is a fluctuating bit. It will be a fluctuating bit. So this way, the I want to stop this heater right now. Just stop this heater. Okay. So you can see totally orange color heater was became. And this way, if this goes down, temperature goes down at a hot junction, it will be uh, that voltage drop. So, this way, we can conclude that C weight effect is working and how thermocouple works. This way, the thermocouple works. Thank you very much.